welcome back to the tutorial on Jar Kai, or Dual Wield Saber Spinning. Uh, last time around we covered the figure eight, or sorry, the, uh, the clock face, following blades. Now just to clarify, this is a transitional move. I can hang out on this side in the downward wield as long as I want until my right hand is in front. When my right hand is in front, I can throw that six o'clock beat and then I can hang out in the upward wheel as long as I want until my right hand is behind, right here. And then I throw that 12 o'clock beat. Hanging out, right hand in front, 6 o'clock, hanging out, right hand behind, 12 o'clock. Right, so the right hand down here and the right hand out here. Alright, so that was the uh, figure eight. I wanted to give you one more thing to play with in this set before we explore the full plum flower in following version. Uh, and the missing part of that, the clock face to the plum flower, the missing part is the Obiani. Okay, so if you recall with the simultaneous blades, we had a version of the Obiani where I was doing a single regular Obiani with my right hand and an inverse Obiani with my left. And this created this sort of ski jump maneuver. Okay, and if you watch my shoulders, they're both rising and falling together. Okay, if I adjust the timing on this just a little bit, I can do a version of this where the blades are following each other a little bit more. I just speed up my right hand a little bit. And you notice instead of the ski jump maneuver like this, I'm more getting a... Uh, this blade is coming back around this time this one is going through. So I'm getting something like this L shape. So. So here's the right hand throwing that obiani, and the left hand follows. Now this takes some timing to get used to, but this sort of obiani, this sort of modification of that single obiani, this is going to allow us to do the double plum flower. And I won't lie, this is going to take quite a bit of practice to be able to master that, to get that down. So keep at it. Realize that eventually your arms are going to learn this. But um, it's not as hard as some of the ones that are going to come up, but it is a learning curve. Keep at it. Practice the, uh, the inverse obiani with one arm until it knows its routine. Practice the single or the standard obiani with the other. Start with the simultaneous version that I showed you in the last one with the ski jump. It's easier to get. And then see if you can adjust the timing. Look at your shoulders in something and try to bring them out one at a time rather than all together. Okay, if you can get that, then we'll be able to work that into the full following plum flower in the next video. Uh, until then, I'll see you on the forums.